Today's video is sponsored by nobility.co.uk, the leading company in selling legal titles in the United Kingdom. Get a 10% discount in any purchase by mentioning Death Row. The Guatemalan Penal Code in 1973 provides for a maximum of the death penalty for parasite aggravated homicide and homicide of the president and vice president. The death penalty is mandatory for rape when death results and the victim is under 10 years of age. The death penalty is also mandatory in kidnapping cases when the victim is under 12 years of age or above 60 or when death results or the victim suffers serious physical injury or permanent psychological trauma. Under the 1985 Constitution, the death penalty cannot be imposed on women, people over 60, those guilty of political crimes or related common crimes, or people extradited under the condition that the death penalty will not be applied or when a conviction is based on circumstantial evidence. A sentence can be imposed only after all appeals are exhausted. The Constitution states that Congress can abolish the death penalty. In spite of the ruling of the Inter-American Court in 1983 that the extension of the death penalty would violate the American Convention, in March 1995 the Guatemalan Congress approved Decree 14-95, extending the death penalty to cover anyone convicted of kidnapping including accomplices and those attempting to conceal such crimes. Kidnapping is understood to be a criminal act of the deprivation of freedom, usually with the intent to make financial, or other, gain. Paradoxically, statistics produced by the National Police show that the incidence of kidnapping rose significantly immediately after Congress approved the decree. The status of this legislation remains unclear since the former president Ramiro de Leon Carpio neither ratified nor vetoed the law within the legally specified period. Nevertheless, death sentences have already been passed on people convicted of crimes falling within its scope. In July 1995, Decree 48-95 was introduced, making extrajudicial executions by members of the security forces or members of subversive and terrorist bands punishable by the death penalty when the victim is under 12 years of age or more than 60 years old, among other reasons. Forced disappearance was also made punishable by the death penalty when the victim, as consequence of forced disappearance, suffers serious injury, permanent psychological trauma or death. Capital punishment is a legal penalty in Guatemala, and is carried out by lethal injection and, to a lesser extent, the firing squad. It is only in military codes of justice, and was abolished for civilian offenses in October 2017. Five executions had been carried out since 1983. All were broadcast live on television. From 2005 to 2012, the sentences of all 54 inmates condemned to death were commuted to life in prison. There are currently no inmates on death row in Guatemala. Guatemala voted in favor of the UN moratorium on the death penalty in 2007, 2010, 2012, 2014, and 2016. The country abstained from voting in 2008. In 2017, the Supreme Court of Justice of Guatemala banned capital punishment for civil crimes. Currently, it can only be applied in times of war. Guatemala is one of seven countries that has abolished capital punishment for ordinary crimes only. The first time lethal injection was used in Guatemala was with Manuel Martinez Coronado. Manuel Martinez Coronado was a member of the Chorti ethnic group who worked as a peasant farmer. Chorti are one of the indigenous Maya peoples, who primarily reside in communities and towns of southeastern Guatemala, northwestern Honduras, and northern El Salvador. 
Their indigenous language, also known as Chorti, is a survival of classic Colton, the language of the inscriptions in Kapain. It is the first language of approximately 15,000 people, although the majority of present-day Chorti speakers are bilingual in Spanish as well. Manuel Martinez Coronado murdered seven members of the same family, in an incident that occurred on May 17, 1995. However, Amnesty International would later claim that evidence also said that his stepfather may have been the real killer. The crime happened on the 17th of May 1995 over a land dispute. He was aided by his stepfather, Daniel Arias. The victims were Juan Bautista Arias, 58, his wife Rosalbina Miguel, their children Francias, 12, Yvita, 8, Arnoldo, 5, and Annabel, 2, and his sister, Amelia Arias, 68. Few days after the mass killings, Coronado was arrested and charged with multiple homicide. He was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Despite pleas from Amnesty International to overturn the verdict, Guatemalan authorities claimed that he would be executed on February 10, 1998. And indeed the Guatemalan authorities keep their promise, Manuel Martinez Coronado was executed by lethal injection on February 10, 1998, making him the first inmate to be executed by lethal injection in Guatemala. The norm in Guatemala is to broadcast the execution live on national television. His execution was broadcast live on television. Doctors in surgical gowns and masks carried out the execution. After the poison was administered, it took 18 minutes for him to die. His wife and children were heard sobbing in the background throughout the execution. The doctors then examined the body to confirm his death. He was the first Guatemalan executed by lethal injection. The Guatemalan government had recently made lethal injection legal. At least three more Guatemalans have since been executed by this method. Manuel Martinez Coronado was 33 years at the time of his execution, and he was survived by his wife Manuela Giron and three children. Thank you for watching Death Row.